few tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Goodbye, Father. To hell with this place. I'm leaving. Try and stop me. nothing. <clears throat> In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hail, noble cousin. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. Your power fused with mine. This should be good. Come try me.
the underworld's power. Each exit has its own reward. stir things up a bit to cover your advance. Looks like I caught a big one. The power of the sea should be of help. I'm hurt. Can't heal myself. But I can fight. Witches.
damn it. I'm home. Back already. Welcome to the House of Hades, where... Wait, I know you. Guess that means you died out there, huh? Well, oh, don't be sad, though. Pretty much everybody dies sometime. Indeed. You've returned. Good to see you, lad. Despite the circumstances. Remember your training out there. The pain of death is but another obstacle. And fear is for the weak. Take care, Achilles. The House of Hades. That dark and lavishly appointed lair of the Underworld's king is home not just to him, but to his willful progeny. You know I can hear you, old man. Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. Well, how is your wanton ransacking of my domain? Greetings, father. My ransacking was a delight, thank you for asking. So I'll just be on my way again. Be on your way indeed. What do I care? You shall never reach the surface. Go, see for yourself. Infernal watchdog Cerberus regards the underworld prince with mixed emotions, from purest joy to deepest melancholy. You watch over things for me, won't you, boy? You know I'd take you if I could. There's a good boy. Cerberus merely feigns concern for you. You have come home. Do not despair and hold to your resolve, child. Tell me something. Has the goddess Athena thus been true to her word and her willingness to lend you her support? She has, Nyx. I'm grateful that you put us into contact and explained to her the situation that I'm in. It gladdens me to hear it. Seldom do Olympians consort with those born of the underworld. Yet your circumstances seem to do cause for an exception. She shall make a powerful ally. Hey, room. I'm back. Night and darkness guide me. Chambers of Prince Zagreus lie in a perpetual state of utter disarray, despite his lord and master of the house repeatedly insisting that he pick everything up. Oh, come on, it's not that bad, is it? Okay. I can escape through that sinister window there. I'll have to come back later. Do this. First get past the wretched shades of Tartarus. Easier said than done, and doubtless I'll be running into Meg. The river of flame ought to be just beyond. Find a way up to Elysium from there, and after that... All right, let's give it another shot. I can escape from the courtyard back there. Looks like father's not going to make this one easy on me. It's bound 
parties I'm after, no need to turn the heat up this high. See what happens. Thunder. Is that? Is this really him? Okay. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Greetings there, young man. Look, your father's always been rather difficult. And he is not so much as cold in quite some time. You'll have a better home where you belong, here on Olympus. And to help you on your journey, have my blessing. Lord Uncle Zeus lending his support. Never thought I'd see the day, or night, or whatever. Composed of such innumerable, ever-shifting, interlocking chambers, the underworld of Lord Hades all but guarantees the dead shall there remain until the end of time. Good thing I'm not dead. something back home. Where to? have not communicated in some time, and Zeus refuses to explain. Something transpired between the two of them. Perhaps you know better than I. Athena's power. Wears. 
should be useful. Says here one of the wretched thugs got you. Too bad. They're slow, but they hit pretty hard, I guess. Have you tried moving out of the way? I haven't, no. Who's that sniveling shade to your immediate left there, Father? Already found someone new to do the busy work. And here I thought I was utterly indispensable. That shade boy is my newly designated contractor. One whose responsibility is to work on this house. Though who shall pay for everything my subjects here demand, I do not know. You're trying to guilt me into funding the exorbitant furnishings you desire. Perhaps once we are finished with repairs for all the carnage you have sown throughout my realm, then we might finally have time for all the needed renovations that have piled up. Some sort of special offer for me, my good shade. What once was a small lounging area within the House of Hades now is sealed off in utter shambles since the multi-headed Cerberus tore the space apart, warning the missing prince. Cerberus destroyed the lounge again. Darkness guides you, child. You have outgrown this house. Of that I am now certain. Should you return again here, I shall keep you safe. I won't forget you, Nyx, I swear it. Heed. That looks like a Daedalus hammer. Enchantments for my weapon. you may be right now. Thank you. Whoops. Wretches.
something. A key to a weapon. Ah, what I wouldn't give for, say, a healing flask of some sort. She is your mother, as I understand. We Olympians rarely consort with the Chthonic gods. Though Nyx herself reached out to me about your plight, and I was spurred to act. Divine protection. Uncertain. Thunder time. See you, Charon, mate. Charon, you've been such a reassuring sight, I thought I'd offer you a token of my gratitude. Wait, you don't have to give me something in return. It was a gift. Though, you're insisting, aren't you? I don't know what to say, mate. Thirst for riches. 
That would be me. Never been this far. Louts. Charon. Beyond the present chamber lies the outermost perimeter of Tartarus, promising terrifying dangers far beyond the underworld prince's reckoning. And I can reckon quite a bit. That's a relief. Well, this is awkward. Halt, <laughs> Sagrius. Not one step further. Come on, Meg. Haven't we had more than enough of each other by now? Besides, don't you have some place else to be? Your father sent me. All in all, I'd rather be on your bad side than his. Now you can turn back, like a good little man, or I can send you home the painful way. What'll it be? I'll have to go with the painful way. A man after my own heart.
did it. The ancient blood. Achilles might know what to do with this. Yes. 